Hey everybody, I hope you're doing good. I am over here at my rutabaga patch that I planted a while back. You know, over here by the black eyed peas and cabbage, not cabbage, collards, kale, broccoli, and cauliflower. And I decided that I was going to take some of these and move them. So as you can see, I've already dug some up and I'm hoping that I can replant them over here in this larger area. We will see how this goes. I have not done this before. I don't think, maybe I have with something. I can't quite remember, but I already started and figured I would show y'all what I'm doing. Um, ooh, <laughs> I'm being so aggressive right now. I got a, a weed here that I'm also pulling out that I shouldn't be doing quite like this, but I am. I hate these things. Look at how aggressive this is. Ugh. Anyway, what I'm doing is I'm kind of seeing how close they are to each other. Because, you know, root bakers are kind of big, right? When they grow, they're, they're good size. So what I'm doing is pulling up individuals and replanting them. Now, if they're close together like these two. Are, are pretty close together. I don't feel like that's gonna grow well. If somebody is sitting over here by themselves, cool. But these two like are too close together. This guy's alone, I'm gonna leave him be. So I'm gonna experiment and try to move some. This is a whole heck of a lot of rutabaga. So I figure I can spread them out. What I was gonna do was just let them grow, get to like a couple of inches and then just thin them. But I'm like, well, I'm gonna be adventurous and just try to replant. So we'll see how it goes. So Chaco is around. He's scared of me. And he's willing to eat from the delectables, but there are drops of it on his head, and I don't know how he's gonna get that. You smell it because it's on your head, buddy. Look. Chaco. He keeps getting up under the bloops. This brave one over here is probably gonna get it. <laughs> hey Chaco. Hey Chaco. Hey, it's on your head. Here, you want to lick like how Kevin used to? You remember when Kevin would lick it? You would come by. Let your little sister get some. Here. Here. Get you some. Yeah. That's right. Here. Yeah. Good job, Chaco. That's how you do it. Here. Get it. Here. Here. Get it. Well, this is the end result of the transplanting. And yes, they look really rough. <laughs> I put them in the ground and then I watered them in. Um, if they take, they take. If they don't, I'm okay with it. Because that's a heck of a lot of rutabaga. <laughs> My family found that the turnips were, I think, a bit too bitter for us. Actually, Eric and I found. So <laughs> we didn't like them. They were too bitter. So I think rutabaga it's a, li a bit less bitter um and i just love the way my mom used to make it so we're going to hope for success with the rutabaga this is what was left over i'm gonna throw these to the chickens because they are um not going in the garden y'all want this rutabaga yeah look at this corn coming up that's from the chickens scratch that just kind of went to seed Oh, I can see. I want this. We'll see if they're bitter for you. Do you like it? Y'all tearing that up. Okay, you like it. Okay, y'all enjoy that. Y'all enjoy that. <laughs> they really are tearing it up. Mmm, that's rutabaga leaves. Mmm. They out here, yeah, okay. Y'all out here running around with the rutabaga leaves. Well, good for you. Well, I'm glad they're enjoying that. 
Well, it's been several days since I transplanted those rutabaga and I wanted to show you what they look like. The second day after I did it, I forgot <laughs> in the morning and they look like a pitiful mess. But I've been tending to them more consistently now and they're doing all right. This morning I went out there and took off the dead leaves from a few of them. Um, this one right here actually was not rooted in the ground. So I just stuck that in this morning, the roots in, hopefully it'll, it'll perk back up. But I think they're doing okay. If you see a skirt, that's because I'm literally dressed for work, but decided to come out here for the morning and just show y'all what was what. The black eyed peas are drooping. They're starting to get done, which is fine. The cabbages and not cabbages, but call it, uh, y'all. Broccoli, cauliflower, cabbage, kale, collards, all of that. They're doing good. Um, I have been fighting a consistent battle with the bugs. I feel like I'm winning because I still have plants, but they are still going at them. So once a week, I'm going to be out here spraying them. But yeah. They're both sneaking each other. You gonna get him? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we see you. That would be why it gets skipped from 27 to 32. That's hilarious. And we're done. Oh, 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 snap. <laughs> Never mind, I'm done. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. I know they're what's their face's sisters. Oh, oh, oh. The frisk. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just started filming, Hi. actually. Hi. Eric and Josh are building a shed. This is the newest project a shed. And so they're going to be out here for a minute working. I'm just going to go and um, water and spray for bugs. It's on Amazon special. It's an Amazon special. <laughs> but we need a shed desperately. So hopefully that will be done this weekend, do you think? Hope so. Hope so, yeah. And then I think the last major project is the covers for the beds. Well, I got to finish the other gate. Oh, yeah, that's true. I finished the gate. The okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. But as far as out here, I got to winterize the coop. Mm-hmm. Finish the other gate, and you want the covers for the beds. Yeah. I'm getting closer because your voice is so so light when I'm filming. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> you want me to talk louder? <laughs> you want me to put a little row sharpness in my voice? Wow. Wow. Huh? Stop. I can talk like my aunties. Stop. My aunties. That's how they say it. Auntie. Oh my gosh. And the nasal. Yes. <laughs> okay, now here come Bean Cat. Call her that because she lives in my beans. Who are you gonna try to stalk? Girl, please understand chickens are thugs. They don't worry about y'all. You have their size. cat just wanted to get in the hole they made in the compost pile. Look at her. Are you? Oh, never mind. <laughs> Didn't realize she was just looking for a place to do her business. Ew, if the chickens go back over there, they're not going to be too happy. Well, dang it. I didn't want no chicken pooing my compost. I mean, cat pooing my compost pile. Hmm. Uh -oh. So it's coming together. The wind is oh, <laughs> the wind is making it wobble back and forth for now. But they're getting the walls on. It's going both directions from the wind. But yeah, they they're gonna get a good bit done, I think, before they're done today. Yay!
Y'all, they have gotten so much done. It just looks amazing. They are putting up, they put up all of the sides except the front and they're working on that now. I'm super jazzed about this. We've needed a shed for so long. So we finally just went and got one. And uh, I think they're gonna get done this weekend. So we're gonna be able to put all the stuff that we keep outside in our shed and some of the stuff we keep in the basement that we always have to tote up and down. So that's gonna be really useful, like our tools, lawnmower, you know, gardening stuff, chicken stuff. It's gonna be super helpful. So Hamid, thank you for doing this. I know you need it too. I know, but I'm just super grateful because I wouldn't have built it. Couldn't have done it by myself. Yeah. Josh has been yeah he's been doing a lot of stuff we're so grateful he's been building fences and helping with the chicken coop and all of the things so this is how i'm looking today y'all haven't seen me because i haven't been on camera but thank you honey. i have my hair pulled back just with a scarf um, and my puff and i've been working mostly inside but i did actually get out here and water the plants and like i said earlier sprayed i didn't just use the um What's that stuff called? Thericide BT, but I also used insecticidal soap in there as well. Not just Dawn soap, but like a product called insect insecticidal soap um, in there as well, just to hit any other bugs. But yeah, it's a beautiful night. What is it? Probably like 60? 66, 67, okay. It's so nice out here. I love it when it starts cooling off because the most of the mosquitoes are like, they're not so bad. They have been horrible when it was hot. Y'all had some? Yeah, I saw you put on bug spray, but it wasn't. Leaving us alone. Yeah. So, I'm happy. I'm gonna get my picture of the shed being built for my thumbnail. But um, thank y'all for watching and we will see you in the next one. Bye.